everyone, it's Dave. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. Today, it's a bit of an unusual video, a little bit different than my regular scheduled content. I actually received a review copy for Eric Berger's book called Reentry that is being released today. And so I figured I should probably make a little review about it. Otherwise, you know, why are they giving me the review copy? So today I'm talking about this new book covering SpaceX's development of the Falcon 9, managing to figure out how to land the Falcon 9 and reuse it, goes into a lot about the Dragon capsule as well as the commercial crew pro program and the competition between SpaceX and Boeing as those two programs competed to try and get to the ISS first and deliver crew first. I think if you follow this channel, you probably know who ended up winning that competition. Uh, really great book, and we're going to talk about that today. So sorry if this isn't the kind of stuff you're into. We'll be back to more of our regularly scheduled content very soon. Don't worry about that. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're not new here, please do leave me a comment and a like, and I'll be sure to check out what you have to say down below. Okay, let's talk about Eric Berger's re-entry. So first of all, I just want to say, um, as an investor in the space industry, I really love reading these books that take you behind the scenes, whether it's this book or Ashley Vance's When the Heaven Went on Sale, Heavens Went on Sale, or, you know, many others out there that really teach you a lot about the industry, because it gives you, you know, an idea about the culture of the companies you're investing in and how these things come together. And I think you really get a much deeper understanding of of the industry and the companies versus if you're just kind of looking at numbers on a spreadsheet trying to figure out if the valuation is cheap or expensive. Now this story was absolutely fascinating. There was a ton of, you know, individual human element stories playing into it where we got to hear from individual employees and what they were dealing with and the madness that was going on having to, you know, it's funny because we watched this all, or at least if you're a space fan, you watched it all uh, from a distance, watching the coverage of these launches and the landing attempts and all that stuff. But to learn the craziness that was going on in the background and just the, you know, frantic pace, the disorganization, which somehow actually came together and worked. Some of these crazy stories are just so fascinating and really tells you about the culture of SpaceX and how they were able to move so quickly. And of course, this is the company Rocket Lab is trying to catch up to as well as a lot of others when you talk about the launch industry. For instance, a few stories that came to mind that really stood out. Well, Doug obviously really pulled no punches talking about the commercial proof pro commercial crew program. That's Doug Hurley, the astronaut. Uh, he really bought into the SpaceX Dragon and was not a fan of the Boeing side of things, made it clear he would only fly to the ISS again if it was on Dragon and not on Starliner. That was quite interesting. The, the early launch attempts onto the barge, they literally had crew members jumping across a gap in the water from the regular ship onto the barge, and then the waters were so rough that they were stuck sleeping overnight in sleeping bags, and you had crew on these other boats just throwing them food because there was no other way to get there. Uh, this stuff that you wouldn't think would happen with what is now, I guess, the biggest space company in the world, but just, yeah, the fight to how they got there. So many amazing stories, and don't even get me started on the one about cutting the engine bell on uh, the second stage of the Falcon 9. Uh, I'll leave that to you if you're interested in reading, because it was really wild. So there is a link to the book on Amazon down below if you're interested. Full disclosure, this is a referral link because, you know, why not, I guess. Um, <laughs> and what the heck, I'll go full sellout and include referral links to Ashley Vance's great novel down below as well if you're interested as a Rocket Lab investor. Uh, any fan of the space industry, any investor in the space industry wants to understand the competition, I think this is a great read. Uh, really fascinating and starts to talk a little bit about Starship, where things are going from here, and I really can't wait until the next book because to me it looks like it's going to be a trilogy. You had Liftoff with the Falcon 1, Reentry with the Falcon 9, and who knows what he'll call the next one, but I think that is going to be with Starship down the line, maybe five plus years away. 
So, so many fascinating behind the scenes details. Thank you to Eric Berger for sharing all that. And I thought his epilogue was really interesting as well. Kind of, I don't want to give away everything, but he does have a little shout out to Rocket Lab saying that, you know, Peter Beck is one of the best rocket engineers out there and his thoughts on how the whole industry is shaking up and where competition will come from because he thinks SpaceX is really standing on their own right now and who can argue with that. Yeah, I won't give away ev everything, but he thinks really uh, Peter just needs a little bit more funding and ammunition on his side. But I think, you know, Peter is doing a lot with a little and Neutron is coming along well, regardless of that funding issue. He does talk a little bit about the risks he sees on the horizon to SpaceX and how he doesn't want this ride to end of the massive fast improvements and he thinks the only person that can stop this ride or send it off the rails is the same person who's driving the train and that's Elon himself through a lot of the issues that are going on with him today. Uh, I'm not going to dive into them all in depth but yeah you're welcome to read the book yourself. So uh, that's it for today. A really short one. Just wanted to mark the release date of re-entry because we don't get enough of these books. And when we do get them, just want to draw some attention to them because they are really great and provide a lot of insight to the industry. If you've already read the book, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If not, I hope you'll consider checking it out. And I wouldn't say that if I didn't genuinely enjoy the book. I'm not here to just shill random books, I'm, as I'm sure you know if you followed the channel for a while. Do you guys think Rocket Lab has what it takes to take on Falcon 9 and the behemoth that it has become in the space industry? Always interested in continuing the discussion down below. Thank you guys for tuning in as always. Hope you don't mind this video being a little bit different than the usual fare and I've got some good ones planned in the future where we'll get back talking about the stock and financial side of things. Hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.